Hi, my name is Sam Dhaneshwekaran and uh, welcome to this database lessons series. Previously we saw what is a DDL and uh, in this video we are going to uh, discuss about what else we can do with the table. We uh, discussed about how to alter the table, I mean change the structure of the table, create the table, drop the table. And then probably some of you might be wondering what about the data? Like where can I load the data? How do I load the data? How do I read the data? Okay, so let's get to that. The first operation, I mean I wouldn't say first operation, Generally, like now, once you create the table, we would want to load or insert some data. Okay? So, the operation is inserting data. Right? So, if you notice, before inserting data and empty row gets created so that it can hold the data. This is what most of the databases, I would say all the databases would do before inserting data. Before inserting data, the database would go and prepare internally some space to hold each and every row. So, let's assume I want to insert uh, a row of data and uh, so what I would do is, uh, I would say like now insert into, um, inserting into the table, table name, right? Here in this case it will be animals. Let's not worry about the syntax right now. Uh, the important thing is you understanding the basics, uh, or I would say the important thing is just understanding. Uh, let's say if you are in the 10th video or 20th video and if you try to remember uh, what you uh, learned in the third video uh, you might not remember but that's okay um, as long as you understand that's fine I guess you would be getting plenty of opportunities to revisit the videos or probably like you now at your work or somewhere uh, you know you would be reading the books or uh, you know you can find information from uh, uh, internet okay so right now the key is uh, understanding so when we insert data what do we do we insert into the table okay so now I'm gonna insert some values okay name I forgot the type so anyway uh, I'm just gonna call uh, farm animal and then some date okay how many calories it eat and then how much of milk it produces let's say two gallons a day or something okay so what did I just do I inserted data so I when I do an insert what happens the database goes and creates empty rows first and then it allows the data to be inserted into the table okay so that's the operation is insert okay so after inserting let's say I wanna read what I have inserted then that operation is called select which is basically I would like to read data okay so uh, so what did you do hold on a second uh, 
I'm going to copy this. Okay, so I'm going to read the data, right? So to read the data, what command will I use? I would use select, select star. Uh, again, uh, let's not worry about the syntax, but then again, I'll uh, just try to explain whatever uh, I can. Uh, when, when, when it says star, uh, it's basically like, no, it would read all the columns from here. Or I can say like no, select just the name, uh, meaning that select only this column, right? The rows that belong to this column from the table. Okay. So, but the important thing to remember is select operation. So after inserting, I'm selecting. Okay. And the next operation would be to update the data. Let's say if I want to change data. Let's say I want to change this cow to sheep, right? And then its birth rate is different and it consumes 50 calories, some, 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 some values, okay? Well, I'm going to leave it null. So, so what did I do? I updated the data. Okay, the data was already there and I updated it. So the syntax is update table and then you pass in some criteria to update it. Okay, let's ignore the syntax, but the important thing to know is we update the data, right? So we did till, uh, insert and we did a uh, uh, select and then right now we are doing an update. Okay, that's the fourth operation. And now, okay, I'm going to delete the data. Okay, here the important thing to know is when you delete, right, it would just delete the data and leave the empty row allocated as it is. Okay, that's an important thing to note. So when we delete data, it deletes the data from the rows and it leaves them empty. We would visit, uh, revisit this at some point of time. Uh, you know what, let me uh, talk about that. Uh, right now uh, so when whenever any uh, uh, new rows are added and then when we delete uh, data it just deletes the data from the table and but it will leave those empty rows in there so probably the these empty rows will be occupying some space which would be a good thing if we are going to load again some other data but if not there is another operation called uh, truncate this is just and I'm providing this as an extra note okay if this is too much for you at this moment feel free to ignore this so what this will do is this is a DDL like I said there are other DDLs which I haven't covered so truncate table what it will do is it will not only delete the data but it will also remove everything allocated beyond this point so it will just cut everything and then bring it to its original size I mean or, uh, without any rows okay that's just an uh, additional note so but the important thing to note is delete and uh, uh, let's ignore truncate for a while because uh, I want to talk about this select and delete and insert and update because all these will make another type of language which is data manipulation language using which 
we basically manipulate the lang uh, the data okay the select insert update delete they form a part of data manipulation man, i'm sorry data manipulation language which you would find in the database world people refer as dml so in the last video we saw about ddl and right now dml which consists of select insert select is basically to read from a table insert is to insert data into a table and update is to update an existing data in a table and delete is to delete a data from the table okay so uh, this forms data manipulation language thanks for watching this video if you have any question please feel free to leave a comment thanks